Flexibility and modularity have reached new levels with the Norgren VR valve manifold range. A simple plug-in sub-base style allows for valves to be easily exchanged for easy installation and maintenance, expanding the size and functionality of your valve manifold to match the changing demands of your application is easy with this plug-and-play experience. Configuring the VR valve manifold that best suits your application is just as easy and smooth with our online VR valve configurator. Whether you're looking for a specific number of stations, valve function, a specific connection protocol, or another feature, our online configurator tool can build the product solution you need. Let's get started. When you land at the Norgren website, you can navigate to the valve configurator in a couple of different ways. The first method is by navigating to products, then down to valve manifolds. This valve manifold page contains information that will help you decide which valve manifold will work best for your application. We'll select configure VR10, VR15 valve manifolds. From here, you can select from any of our valve manifold lines. Let's configure a VR10 valve manifold. We'd click Next to continue on, but first let's look at the second method to get to the configurator. Back at the Norgren homepage, we'll navigate this time to Technical Support and over to Configurators. From this Configurators page, we'll scroll down to the Valve Manifold Configurator and click More Information. Similar to the previous method, you'll select the valve manifold that best suits your application. If you're unsure of which valve manifold would best work for you, scroll down, answer a few questions, and let the product selector do the heavy lifting. If you already have a configuration number, you can enter it at the bottom of this page for fast access to your configurations. Okay, now for the fun part. Yay! Let's configure a VR10 valve manifold. The first step is to select the control and communication protocol options you want for your VR manifold. We have a variety of popular options, including Multipole, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, Profinet, and IO-Link. Let's select the Ethernet control option. The configurator will change based on what you choose. Next, we'll choose our protocol. Since we chose the Ethernet option above, there will be some options in protocol that will not be available. Likewise, if you choose a different control option, these options may be unavailable or grayed out. We'll select EtherCAT from our options here. Click the lock image next to each option to lock in your selections as you build your manifold. Now, occasionally you'll see little red information icons. Hover your mouse over these to see additional notes about these categories. We'll select M12 for our connector type and click Next. The manifold selection stage is where we make selections regarding supply ports, pilot supply, and of course, how many stations we need. The first option, Supply Exhaust Port Size, is where you'll choose whether you want imperial or metric port sizes. You then define which side you want the supply exhaust ports on, left, right, or both sides. You can choose whether you want your pilot supply internal or external. We'll stick with internal here. Here you can choose your number of stations. You can select up to 24 or as low as 2. We'll go with 6 and click Next. Each valve station is customizable to suit your application. First, we select the valve function where many common options are available, including 5-2, 5-3, dual 3-2, or a blanking plate. We'll select the dual 3-2, normally closed function. Next, we can change the outlet port size to either quarter inch or 5 30 seconds. We'll keep quarter inch setting and add up to three intermediate supply exhaust module pressure zones.
when you finish editing each of your stations. Click Next. In the next section, we'll select any accessories we want included. You can choose whether you want a DIN rail added to the unit in addition to the standard direct mounting. When you're satisfied, click Next to see the readout of your completed unit. Here you can review your setup and go back if you need to change anything. Now on this page, please note your configured part number at the top. As mentioned earlier, if you know your configuration number, you can enter it at the bottom of the Technical Support Valve Manifold Configurator page for fast access to your configuration. You can view or download the CAD for your valve manifold. Our CAD viewer is feature rich and allows you to get a closer detailed look at the unit you built. We offer over 70 download formats in both 3D and 2D to ensure that you can view your VR valve manifold on whatever modeling program you use. In addition to the CAD, you can download a technical PDF that contains interactive 3D views, technical drawings, wiring diagram, and data sheets. Everything you need for your machine design considerations. Logging into your Norgren.com account allows you to save your configurations to review later. All supplementary software is available by clicking Software Downloads. You can also access any supplementary downloads by clicking Technical Support in the main menu and clicking Software. You can print your configuration or discard it completely and start over. After you've made all of your considerations, you can click Add to Basket to buy directly from the website. Optionally, you can copy the configuration part number and submit a purchase order. Use our online configurator today by visiting www.norgren.com or call 1-800-514-0129 for more information.